Hello everyone, welcome to the Zero to One Code YouTube channel. And in today's uh, video, we are going to talk about Health Cloud uh, Professional Certificate. Uh, I would say it's not more of a certificate, it's a credentials that is available in Partner Learning Care. It's not generally available in the certificates the way you do like developer, admin, and app builder certificates. So let's get started. My name is Vishnu Kumar and I recently uh, cleared this uh, professional exam, right? And I thought like sharing with all of you, right? So if you are on the same journey or even though if you are looking to learn about the health cloud, right? It would be beneficial for you as well. So let's talk about a bit of the exam, like, uh, like how many questions you will be getting, right? So you will be having around 60 multiple choice questions, right? There will be like, radio options right and where you will be selecting more single option as answer there will be multiple select options as well and the uh, exam would be like around 90 minutes the passing score are around like 63 percent that means it's it's pretty good right and when it comes to the difficulty right it can be easy plus hard right why, why i'm saying that easy and hard both right so let's say if you have bit of experience in health cloud and if you have done like say a single project earlier right it would be easy as compared to if you are totally starting new right and you are doing everything from scratch right then you might have to spend a bit of the extra time right and here is the like table uh, where you can see the weightage of the each topic like i won't go into deeper on this side uh, let's jump to the next thing right uh, so how you should plan the study to avoid a lot of noise that you will be seeing here and there right so when I started, like I was going through multiple places like blogs and whatever I can find out, right? And it was a bit hard uh, because it was a lot, right? Health Cloud is a big, big, I would say implementation. Um, so once I started, right, and I, it took me like a month. And even though I have completed one project uh, on totally on the Health Cloud, right? And but it still it took me one month, right? If you look at this step one, I would highly recommend it that you should complete this trail. It does cover a lot of topics from the health cloud, right? And with uh, with great examples, like uh, this is something that I love about the trailhead that it will have a uh, real user stories, right? That you can relate because it's it might get complicated if you directly start from like admin guide or developer guide, right? Because you need a bit of background right what is what right and then partner learning camp so partner learning camp is something that is only available to the partners and this will be required when you are attempting this attempting this exam right so if you don't have this and if you are just here to learn about the health cloud and not giving this exam right i will still say like don't focus on the step two just focus on the step one okay so once your step one and step two are done, right? So again, step two, where you are going through partner learning camp, a lot of references will be from this trail head itself, right? So there will be a lot of modules coming from this trail, right? So that means if you completed this, right? So comparatively, you will be taking less time here. So this is important that you complete this first and then super badge, right? So for me, it was like life saving, right? Literally. And if you ha I ha don't have the experience of the health cloud, I would say like go through the super batch, do it right. It might take like, like around seven to eight hours, but it will give you clear visibility of what is the health cloud and you will be touching down almost every feature of the health cloud, right? So that will be really important in terms of the exam and in terms of the real imp world implementation as well then we have admin guide definitely you don't want to miss this out right this guide will help you a lot right and uh, a lot of questions in this exam will be coming from the admin guide itself right and then again when you are doing this step one to three a lot of time you will have to refer admin guide and developer guide in the parallel right uh, but my suggestion would be don't start directly from the admin guide start through like the way that i have suggested but again it totally depends on you what route you want to go cool so let's move to the next thing just to get a bit of like health cloud what is a health cloud right uh, so when i started i had 
not that much of knowledge about the health cloud like i worked on the project as i said right but i just covered one of the use case that was like providers right and then i start digging into it right then i realized okay there are more and more uh more and more uh aspects to the health cloud right the health cloud is for the med tech right there are peers like peers are like insurance companies right and then pharmaceuticals and life science then there's a provider right so it's it's a big umbrella right the health cloud is a big umbrella literally and then you have the four uh, different things in in it right so uh, the trail that i suggested right you will be touching down all the all these aspects right and you will have understanding uh, what is medtech what is peers right when you go through this trail and then more you will able to relate when you will be looking at the data model then you will able to relate with uh, real world examples okay let's move to the next one uh, this is screenshot from my notes um, so what i did is like uh, because as i said right it, this will be there will be a lot of a uh, lot of data objects i would say more than 100 or more than 200 right but i have categorized into it right and this is not something that i have done from my side i from i went through the admin guide and found out that uh, we have all these kind of things there but i just like divided into here right and you can do the same kind of thing right so if i look at the life science right then it means there are like program management care management social dependence right and when you go to the providers you have these many data models to consider right because in your exam there will be questions like hey so you have this care plan object right is it from provider or is it from payers or is it from medtech or there can be a, there can be a questions like hey what objects are from the payer what objects are from the provider so that means you should have understanding what all objects are from uh, which aspect right so it seems like a bit hard but it is not once you start relating with the real world right rather than uh, just memorizing everything so go to the next slide and obviously there will be a lot of questions from the health cloud setup as well uh, this is something that i picked from the trailhead itself and you will be seeing this in trailhead definitely okay so health cloud is is created by like two different things there is a core health cloud that is your like a standard objects that is in your salesforce org right when you purchase or buy out the salesforce health cloud right you will get a lot of objects there but then comes the second thing health cloud manage package that is also required right so you have to install for your demo ox or the super badge you are doing you might not need to install it it will be pre-installed but if you are doing a, a implementation from a scratch you have to install it okay it will provide you a lot of custom components uh, pre-built custom components custom objects right and there will be other things as well uh, once you start exploring it right then comes in health cloud other packages right so those are optional right it those are case to case based right and there will be questions from this as well right so let's say if you have particular aspects let's say if you have provider right which manage package you would like to install it right so there will be question like this and then coming back to this once you do this right then you have to like enable couple of things right and i would say like these things are something that you will be doing before installing the package uh, like enabling the person account enabling the shared context chatter domain right and then you will be installing the health cloud package right up and then use person account it's more of a custom setting that you will be seeing right and then assigning the health cloud permissions and health cloud profile and setting up the org wide right so i would say you will be getting around six to eight questions from here easily and more than eight i would say and then coming to the permissions right so in if i go to the uh, like last slide you will see we have options uh, or we have like steps to assign permissions right and you will be getting a lot of questions from the permissions as well right so there is a thumb rule that if you have any new user that means you have to assign two permission set licenses health cloud platform license and health cloud permission set license right so 
you might get confused when you go through the document right there is a literally a permission set called health cloud permission set license the permission set name is the permission set license right so you might get confused but at the behind the scene the permission set license is used from these two right so health cloud platform it will give you the standard health cloud related object permissions and wherever health cloud permission set license it will give you the access to salesforce object and health cloud all custom objects right so there will be more than four to five questions on these side as well and then assign other permission set right there are more permission set the way that we talked about the packages uh, where we were having manage package uh, and then we were having core health cloud and we were installing some other packages as well right so similar to that to access certain functionality you have to you have to assign these permission sets as well right so it's not something that you need to go in very deeper but at least you should be looking at it how many permission set are there and when to use which one and believe me it's not more than seven or eight so it should be straightforward getting into this and i really wanted to highlight this patient detailing configuration because what you are seeing on this screen there will be around 20 questions from this screen uh, easily right so why is that so let's get into the org and i will show you the same things from there and we'll try to explain like what things can come in exam so we are now in our salesforce org i created this org for my super batch uh, and this i have set up it from the super batch task only right so if you see on the left side these are three different cards right so patient navigation patient info patient card patient info is something that you can see you can see a user name right um, and then you can see a chatter profile then birth date gender right and then in the patient card this is something that you can configure entirely even though uh, you can bring the data from a related list it's not directly coming from the account right so there is a way to configure this there is a way to configure this right so this will be configured through the a custom object and this will be configured through the your custom setting or custom metadata right but you can configure each and everything even though uh, these names right these labels you can change from the custom label right now this is your left bar where you see a patient high level information now coming to this highlight panel you will be seeing couple of buttons here right and couple of questions will be coming from here as well like if i want to talk about this registered device and create shipping request right so this is again for part of metric where you select some of the product and then you assign to this user something like this right so the idea is to give you overview of like what the screen look screens looks like so and i would say like again when you're doing the super page you will be touching this part right so you will have understanding what you are doing right and then there is a enroll in care program and so this is part of your pair right where you can enroll a patient into a program right uh, you can have you can assign multiple care program right but you cannot assign a same care program again and again right so there are custom settings to turn off things and turn on things for uh, specific th specific needs and then if we go to this side life events right so life event is a, a object it brings the data uh, from multiple records uh, from that object right and and this is a like come out of box component and you see you are seeing this right and this is totally configurable as well right um, through the setup and uh, you can set up like what kind of uh, items you want here right so this is look for a person account that you are seeing right and if i go to a business account this will be different right so when you do the edit page you will able to see like how to configure this right so you can hide if you don't want something and you can add things from here directly right so new personal life event once i add it right and if i go back i will be able to see the dates and all those things here right okay coming to this it's a straightforward page layout uh, nothing funky here facilities 
this is a relationship card right and in in health cloud it, this is called as provider cards right so this is very important topic and then social determinants it's itself is a consists of around five to six object right so we have care determinants right determinants type right interventions right so you you should go through these as well so there will be a questions from the uh, from this part as well uh, related is just the just couple of uh, related items nothing else uh, but you know what like go through these objects these objects are like called ESR or EHR objects uh, and there are more objects uh, from the EHR right and you might not need to remember each and every object as I said again uh, but you should understand right what is the meaning of patient immunization what is the meaning of medical statement right uh, something like that and if i go to the more then we have remote monitoring okay so again important part uh, so you can set up a target for a patient right so let's say if a, a body weight for a patient should be like uh, 80 kg maximum right and then you can you can observe the patient's body weight on multiple times right uh, when they are visiting the hospital right so you can have like the patient was like 70 kg now after one month 65 or 68 right so this this will be showing this and it's not just that you can configure uh, one kind of thing right you can configure a lot of like blood pressures heartbeats right everything you can configure here and then you can observe the data and it can be connected with uh, our external system as well so that's it from here now coming to the on these care plan timeline household and let me close these so if you see here right even though if you close something from here right you can go from here so you have care plan again this is part of um, your providers uh, where provider are doing the care planning and you can create new care plans and you can apply the templates so i would say like do that practice end to end where you are creating the care plan template then assigning this to right so care plan templates is just predefined templates like uh, so for nutrition education right uh, if a patient comes in a doctor identifies that okay this patient requires nutrition education right so they don't don't have to write all the tasks and all the problems right they can just bring it from the template itself although they can customize it right so everything that you see here right a buttons this the tabs right the filters everything is configurable right and important part is in exam they might ask you right uh, where you can configure this right not in deep detail but at least you should know okay this can be configured in custom metadata this can be configured in custom setting or this can be configured in the setup because there are a couple of components that you can configure in core salesforce right so you don't have to go to the custom setting or custom metadata okay then you have the timeline uh, you can bring any child object of the person account i will repeat this again you can bring any child of the person account right so it the parent should be always a person account right so that means you can bring events even though if you have built a custom object right after you install health cloud you have your custom object you can configure that right so there is i believe there is a custom object to configure called patient there is a patient call uh, patient card configuration there is timeline view configuration right so if i go here you will be able to see the all the objects right and you can apply the filters as well uh, which record should be coming on this timeline right so of the box component but pretty useful if you see this here right so you will be able to configure icons uh, this card information right and what field should be coming here but you should know like where this uh, this is configured right it's not necessary that you need to understand every and each field but again you should know like where to configure and what can be configured household defines a relationship 
through all the related contact and accounts for this particular patient right so if you look at it right this is care plan this is care plan right in this care plan there are there are people who is providing the support to this person or this patient then there is another care plan and these are the patient these are the person that are providing the support then these are the employee transportation uh, coordinator and the family members right so it gives a 360 degree view of the patient and all the related contacts or accounts of the patient right so pretty powerful component so you should know what you can show here right so let's go back to the over slide as i said earlier right there are things that you can configure you might not need to remember each and every detail but you should know what what thing can be configured and where right so you will see things are configured in custom metadata records custom settings like lead conversation to patient right so in in health cloud uh referrals are stored in lead as per the new architecture in previous uh, version they had another object custom object to maintain that but now it's a best practice that we utilize the lead to store the referrals and then you can convert a lead into a patient or i would say person account right so you you need to understand how you you can map out the fields right so there is a section in the admin guide that you can refer but it's important you will be getting the questions from here as well and a lot of things will be coming from the data encryption side and bit of salesforce shield as well right so what salesforce shield can do again you don't need to know how to configure the shield but you should know what is the use of shield what is the use of data encryption and so there will be questions around I would say four to five questions from shield and data encryption and custom labels right as i told you like on patient card uh, or you can see on the left side there was a but a lot of components and there are other components as well so a lot of things you can configure through the custom label right that means you can do the multilingual support as well right next thing is health standard and communication important to understand uh, there are certain standards for health cloud uh, health cloud industries across the world right so there are hl7 uh, fhir usually called as fire and there is a fire 4 standard that current salesforce supports right also it does support hl7 version 4 or 3 i'm not sure but yeah it does support that and uh, how the data communication works right so you have a legacy system and you want to bring the data in salesforce right so by default you won't get heavy connector uh, from the health cloud so the best practice is like you do these things out of the salesforce that means mulesoft or other connector connectors right so mulesoft does have a out of box connector for health cloud so what it will do is like it will convert the data and then through the different kind of apis you can push the data in salesforce so it's important that you understand this and you should understand this which model is being utilized by the health cloud as of now and what models are uh, or standards are supported by the salesforce health cloud this is i would say pretty important to understand i know it will be a lot when you are looking at here so this screenshot is coming directly from the admin guide uh so i have tried to mark it like what is what so if you see the red markers right that means that these are very important you will be getting good amount of questions from here and green is something that you will be getting questions but it not that much right and unmark is something you will get like very few questions right but again the idea is not just to crack the exam the idea is to understand the health cloud right and mark is something that you don't you might not be doing on daily basis right so you might not be doing reportings right you might not be utilizing the omni studio right you might not be doing the crm analytics through the table you or some other tool right but the red things are something that you will be doing again and again 
uh, for different different clouds like for example if you talk about the flows right so i showed you button right where you can enroll people where you can register for a device so health cloud provides flows right and the flow template as well so that means you can utilize their flow as it is but if you want to utilize and customize as well so you can utilize the templates right so you can you build your own flow using that template and then use that flow as a quick action right so that can be done so you should know like how many kind of flows you have there again it's not too much but you should know the main like enrolling the program like registering the device right so you should know about that and i'll walk you through the admin guide and data data guide once right just to see like how you need to go through it so this is admin guide and all the points that you were seeing on the last slide right they are from here right and i think i would say like start from here right so once you complete all of the things you will be having great understanding right but go through this right so you once you click on it you will see the data models what all data models are being utilized here when you go to the like for pairs right what all data models are part of the pair right remember i showed you a slide where i had like nodes uh, with each uh, aspect and uh, a data model for those right so go through this right and once you go through this claims or something like this or maybe you will have a developer guide so this is developer guide right so developer guide does have all the objects couple of the apex related information as well but what you need to focus from the developer guide is the erds okay so once you click on the care management and if you go to this care management diagram you will be able to see all the objects right so there are clinical data models right uh, if i zoom in a bit you will see a lot of objects here right so these are not directly from the care program but it they support the clinical data model right and if you look at it so again you won't be able to remember everything if you try to read like this but if you try to put things in an example like okay this is patient patient have the problems right they have problems have the goal goals have the task right and uh, you will able to understand it right and who is providing the who is providing the care the provider right if you go through these you will see a data models or erds for each and every uh, objects so i believe that was it like again i would say it's not too hard if you try things out through the super badge or through the trailer modules right and uh, try to there, do that and again you will be getting questions questions can be complicated there right and for me i personally felt that where we had to select multiple options right it was pretty hard right so i what i did is like i try to find out what answers can be wrong right and you will find that right so if there are five answers and you need to pick three and then you need to try to find out the two obvious wrong answers so if you try in that way i believe you were able to get there okay cool so that's it uh, let me know if you get this certificate thank you and best of luck for your certificate or if you are going into the uh, health cloud implementation project cool bye bye